everyone, I'm Dina from simplyhomecook.com and today I'll be showing you how to make these incredibly delicious crepes. And make sure to watch the full video so you can see all the different ways to fill them and fold them and a few tips and tricks to make them just incredibly delicate and just so delicious. All right, let me show you how to make them. You wanna start off by cracking six large eggs straight into your blender along with two cups of milk. You can use whole milk or 2% here. And then you wanna add a quarter cup of corn oil or any other light tasting oil. And then you wanna add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, and a pinch of salt. Then measure out two cups of all-purpose flour. Make sure to spoon and level it off with the back of a knife with measuring. Now gently add it into your blender, then place the lid on and give it a few pulses. I say about three to five pulses. Now grab your spatula and scrape down the sides of the blender just to loosen any of those patches of flour that may have stuck to the side of the blender. Now place the lid back on and give it about four more pulses just to incorporate those little bits of flour. Now you wanna boil some water and measure out one cup and then as quickly as possible, add it to the crepe batter. Close the lid and give it about three more pulses until everything is well incorporated. The boiling water will make your crepes extra light and delicate. All right, now pour your crepe batter into a clean bowl and let it rest for at least 30 minutes. So letting it sit at room temperature is gonna ensure that that gluten relaxes and lets all that flour absorb those liquids, making it so much easier to work with when pouring it into your pan. Now you wanna melt two tablespoons of unsalted butter, take your pastry brush and brush the bottom of a nine inch nonstick pan, and if you don't have a pastry brush, you can always just dab a paper towel into the melted butter and spread it all over the bottom of your pan. Now using a ladle, pour about a quarter cup of the crepe batter into your pan that has been heated to medium low heat. And you wanna quickly tilt and swirl the pan around so that crepe batter coats the entire bottom of the pan. After about two to three minutes, you wanna lightly scrape the sides of the crepe with a thin spatula, then slide your spatula under the crepe and then gently flip it over. Then cook your crepe for an additional two minutes. Now you wanna gently transfer your finished crepes into a plate and you can go ahead and stack those right on top of each other. That is totally okay. And now the fun part, time to fill these crepes up with your favorite filling. We love to load ours up with Nutella because who does not like Nutella? All right, for this first crepe, I'm gonna show you how to do the tuck and roll method. So you wanna take one side, bring it towards the center, and then take the opposite side and bring it towards the center as well. Then start from the end closest to you and roll it up all the way nice and tightly, kinda of like a burrito. And I like to stack a few on top of each other and drizzle them with some extra Nutella because why not? I mean, go big or go home, right? So this next one is with strawberries and cream. So you wanna thinly slice up your strawberries, then line them up in a row right in the center of your crepe. And then you can pipe on some whipped cream right over those strawberries. And you can use homemade or store-bought. That's totally up to you. And now you can begin folding up your crepe. So bring the left and right side towards the center, then fold the bottom of the crepe right over the whipped cream and berries, and then gently roll it up also like a burrito. <laughs> now top it with some extra whipped cream and a fancy looking strawberry and then a light dusting of powdered sugar. So this last one is going to be a classic Suzette style crepe. So it's folded up kind of like a triangle. So for this one, all I added was homemade strawberry jam and you really don't need to add anything else because homemade strawberry jam is just so darn delicious on its own. So to fold it Suzette style, all you have to do is fold it in half and then fold it in half again and you end up with this cute little triangle shape. And there you have it folks, this is how simple and easy it is to make perfect crepes right at home. And those are just a few ways you can fill crepes. We sometimes like to add stuff like dolce de leche, blueberry pie filling, you could even make them savory. The possibilities are endless. I personally love them with Nutella, 
because who does not like Nutella? I mean, look at that. Oh my, that is just gorgeous. <laughs> All right, let's go in for the taste test. All right, here goes my morning workout. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Wow, that is worth it. That is worth every single calorie. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that is so delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys never miss out on any of our new recipes. See you next time. No, that's fine. <sighs> Come on. And those are just a few ways that you can fill crepes. I personally love it with Nutella the most because who doesn't like Nutella? Um, come on. Why are you drawing blanks? <laughs> oh, Scoot it up. Darn it. To fall apart. No! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> I'm mad at myself because it's ugly. <laughs> what a mess, what a mess. Wow, like wow, I have no words.